everyone i hope you are finding yourself in best of your health so let's solve this question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient so in every question of linear differential equation with constant coefficient there are certain steps which we need to follow in order to get the answer so first step is always to write the auxiliary equation which is simply just replace this d by m so m square plus 4 and equate it to 0 now find its roots so m square equals to minus 4 so m you are getting as plus minus 2 iota i hope you know how to solve this now if i write separately then your m1 is 0 plus 2 iota and m2 is 0 minus 2 iota so these are complex root and conjugate of each other so in this case we find complementary function by uh this is nothing but of the form a plus iota b and a minus iota b and a minus iota b then we find our complementary function as e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx this is a simple rule so we'll follow that here also so e power 0x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x i hope you understand it well so cf e, e power 0x is simply 1 so c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x now coming to the third step which is to find the particular integral which is 1 upon f of d which is here d square plus 4 this will operate on whatever is in rhs so that is sin square x now we don't have any rule for sin square x so what we do we know one formula that cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x so 2 sin square x will be 1 minus cos 2x sin square x will be 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2. so your particular integral will be 1 upon d square plus 4 1 minus cos 2x this i can also write as 1 by 2 uh if i take common then 1 minus cos 2x so 1 by 2 i take out and this is 1 minus cos 2x further i can write it separately also so 1 by 2 out uh 1 upon d square plus 4 operating on 1 1 can also be written as e power 0x minus 1 upon d square plus 4 operating on cos 2x so this is 1 by 2 what is the rule for e power ax just replace this d by a which is here 0 so if you do so you will get 1 by 4 because zero square is zero only and e power 0x minus what is rule for e power uh, sorry cos 2x we replace d square by minus of a square a here is one so we'll replace d square by minus of a square which is 4 but the moment you do so this denominator becomes zero so i have already told you in case denominator becomes zero then there is a rule multiply by 1x and differentiate the denominator so you will get 2d and operation goes on so this is e power 0x is 1 so 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 okay and uh, this half i can take out so minus x by 4 because this x is outside the operator so x by 4 1 by d is same as integration so integration of cos 2x dx integration of cos ax is simply plus sin ax so sin 2x divided by the uh, coefficient of x which is 2 so sin 2x divided by fine so you are getting 1 by 8 minus x sin 2x divided by 8 
so you can take 1 by 8 common 1 minus x sine 2x so your final solution is always y equals to cf plus pi so y equals to cf was c1 cos 2x plus c1 uh, c2 sine 2x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x and what was your pi pi we recently calculated as 1 by 8 1 minus x sine 2x so i hope you understood this question the basic methodology was same uh, auxiliary equation then the rule for complementary function we find the complementary function then the particular integral final answer was y equals to cf plus pi